Disneyland Paris is getting major new additions, from a new Frozen Land to incredible updates to existing experiences. Get ready as we review the future of Disneyland Paris. We start off with Walt Disney Studios Park, or should I say Disney Adventure World. As Disney announced, the park is changing its name. The new Adventure World now recognizes the park is more than just a studios themed park. It is a place where you travel to different worlds from your favorite franchises. As Tom Fitzgerald said, today we are changing the story of Walt Disney Studios Park, evolving from how it's done sound stages to celebratory theaters and adventures that come to life in immersive worlds. The new name will premiere once World of Frozen comes to life. In addition, Disneyland Paris revealed a renovation to Studio One, which closed. This new version will be more focused on a movie premiere. With half of this street, it will be Hollywood facades, and the other will be a restaurant named Hollywood Gardens Restaurant. Featuring this expansive, full greenery, it just looks great with the Hollywood Hills in the background. Then you go under an Art Deco inspired theater and visit the rest of Adventure World. Speaking of that, we enter the newly revealed realm, World Premier Plaza. This new land will be filled with lush landscaping and most importantly bringing together the park's two major shows. Disney has shared this concept art. It showcases a new exit for the former Studio One, so the Walt Disney partner statue is facing a different direction. The facade features different posters as well, removing the Walt Disney Studios Park signage that used to be there. There's also a lot of greenery here as well, a Mickey Mouse statue will be added and frankly that's great. The animation side features interesting landscaping and I quite like this booth, hopefully it's not just concept art. But a weird choice is to add this banner on top of the facade to promote Mickey et le Majestien. The other side now features an oval shaped plaza. The changes to Studio One and the rest of World Premier Plaza are expected to be ready starting in 2025. Overall, these new changes to the former Walt Disney Studios Park are great. It's clear Disney is investing in fixing what some call the worst Disney Park. And now, with a new name, this park will enter a marvelous new age. However, the new name is a bit generic, personally. Many parks around the world already include the word adventure in their branding, like Chessington and even Six Flags had worlds of adventure before they sold it off. So this name doesn't convey a sense of uniqueness to the resort, in fact it might be confused with Walt Disney World or Islands of Adventure. Also the logo is similar to the old Disney DVD logo from my childhood. However, the park needed a new name to showcase its transformation. And speaking of that, let's take a look at the major expansions happening at the park. Disneyland Paris will feature a new land, Adventure Way, with a tangled flat ride called Rapunzel Tangled Spin, which takes guests to a floating lanterns festival and an English gardens. This new land will lead guests to the brand new lake called Adventure Bay, which is currently being filled. This area will also feature an Art Nouveau inspired pavilion named Regal View Restaurant and Lounge with incredible views and where you might be able to meet a princess. The park will also feature a brand new Frozen Land, similar to the one we saw from Hong Kong Disneyland. This land will immerse guests into the fan favorite franchise, taking inspiration from Scandinavian architecture and landscaping. This land will feature a frozen boat ride, which is likely to be pretty much the same as the one in Hong Kong Disneyland. This boat ride will allow younger guests to be able to sing with Anna and Elsa, and parents will be terrified because they will have to endure Let It Go one more time. Unlike Hong Kong Disneyland, this land will not feature a roller coaster, which is a significant change in the landscaping of the area. Arendelle, the world of Frozen will also feature retail and dining opportunities, as well as some surprises. 
Additionally, a new Alice in Wonderland show is coming to the park. Named Alice and the Queen of Hearts Back to Wonderland, this show replaces lights, camera, action. It features a contemporary take on the classic Walt Disney film. Vibrant costumes and BMX stunts are present, definitely immersing you onto this weird Wonderland world. Just don't try to look behind the set pieces at the Mediterranean French town. Also, Disney revealed the show has two possible endings, which will be decided by the audience. Additionally, Avengers Campus is getting a new show, focusing on Doctor Strange and Scarlet Witch. This nighttime show will premiere on the rooftops later this year. Moving to Disney Village, its transformation continues with updates to existing facilities. First off, the LEGO Store will be updated, featuring a brand new mural with some of your favorite Disney characters. Disney Lifestyle Shop and a Disney Home Store will come by at the end of this year. The Sports Bar will be updated and the Disney Store, not to be confused with World of Disney, will feature a new contemporary update and will likely change its name to Disney Wonder. Moving over to Park Disneyland, the run of the Main Street Electrical Sky Parade has been extended until early January 5, 2025. Additionally, Imagineers tease a possible new expansion to Walt Disney Studios Park, or should I say, Disney Adventure World. They didn't mention further details or what's going to be, but definitely keep an open eye in the future. David Crockett Ranch cabins will feature a new look inspired by classic Disney shorts and comics like the Junior Woods Chucks and Humphrey the Bear. This is frankly quite nice. It's great seeing these classic Disney characters depicted at Disneyland Paris. So it seems as if Disneyland Paris has a bright future ahead, with immersive lands and ambitious expansion plans. As so, I cannot wait for where the future takes us. Disneyland Paris is an incredible resort and it's about to get even better.